The tumour suppressor protein retinoblastoma is found on chromosome 13. Retinoblastoma structure has two domains, A and B, the former pocket domain permitting binding of E2F. You can think of him as your friendly police officer. E2F is a transcription factor that promotes cell cycle progression by producing proteins, including cyclin-dependent kinases 4 and 6 and cyclin D. Extracellular signals, such as stress, can also increase cyclin D levels. You can think of him as your criminal ringleader with his accomplices. Cells go through a number of cell cycle stages to proliferate, including GAP1 phase, synthesis, GAP2 phase, and mitosis. Our friendly officer RB and criminal ringleader collide in G1. Hypophosphorylation of Officer RB results in the arrest of ringleader E2F, locking him away and preventing his nefarious acts of initiating proliferation. As G phase progresses, RB is increasingly phosphorylated by increasing cyclin D CDK46 complexes. Phosphorylation inhibits E2F binding, releasing the E2F. This could also be seen as E2F's accomplices coming to the rescue and bribing Officer RB to release their ringleader. Now free to get back to his usual antics, E2F causes proliferation by entering the nucleus and promoting transcription of proteins required for S phase progression. When Officer RB is mutated, he's no longer able to bind E2F. These may be inactivating mutations or promoter hypermethylation, resulting in gene silencing or increased sequestration, causing E2F to allow premature cell cycle progression and excessive proliferation. Such unregulated proliferation, if not stopped, can lead to tumorigenesis. Mutations in the RB gene are known to cause retinoblastoma cancer, which develops in the retina of the eye and is typically found in children. Other cancers linked to the RB gene include bladder, lung, breast and bone cancers. Thank you for listening. Created using Powtoon.